Okay. So as part of our first session, let's discuss about overview. We are not going into technical. Actually, monthly payroll as well. We have two types of payroll. One is in-house payroll. Another one is external payroll. In-house payroll is nothing but we have all the data within Workday. To make it simple, we can run the payroll within Workday itself, and also send the tax related documents to the vendors or processor tax processors. Generate the pay slips in Workday. And also um, uh, generate ways to documents in a tax related financial documents. Everything will be generated within work dates in our payroll. External payroll means external payroll means we are running the payroll with vendors outside the vendor, which means I might have compensation and core HR data. A core HR data, but payroll will be processed with the ADP, paycheck, NGA, etc. Uh, BSI, our uh, SAP also, they are the, one of the tax processors. They do. They are also payroll vendors. All right. Is it simple? Payroll will be processed by the external vendors example ADP, NGA etc okay now what payroll we're going to learn here we're going to learn in-house payroll for us and this is what they are still just adding one point Workday has the ability to serve or send the data to the external vendors globally across all the countries. Across all the countries. Okay. One doubt, Kiran. Uh, only US payroll is in house payroll or any other countries uh, or also in house payroll only? We'll come under in house. Sorry, please repeat the question. No, uh, as per the uh, standard, only we can able to config uh, US payroll or we can config uh, international payroll in in-house payroll. Uh, in-house payroll, you can config international. Here, no limit at all. Here, no limit. You can create, configure n number of uh, countries. Just to give some example, let me do one thing. So, of course, we are going to discuss all these details. Don't worry. Just to clarify your question. So this is nothing but payroll area in SAP. For us, we will call it as pay group in one day. Okay. Now here you can see, you are able to see only four countries. Yes ma'am, Canada, France, UK, USA. Correct? Yes. Four countries only we are able to see. But when I select the user in payroll interface, you can see a number of countries, in fact, globally. Okay, here is a switch. So we are telling to the work day, hey, I am processing in-house payroll. In-house payroll is available only for these four countries. Or I am processing the payroll externally, then we have to ensure we have selected this checkbox. Why we have to select another, we will discuss. Okay, just to give an example, globally also, we can process the payroll with vendors. Hey, uh, what yeah. is the main difference in in-house payroll and external payroll? In house right. payroll. Let me explain. In house payroll means you have your employee data within one day. You have your compensation data within one day. You have your benefits data within one day. And your process in the payroll also within one day. I'm not taking any help from vendors, third party vendors. Okay. okay. External payroll means I have only compensation and core HR in work day. OMPA compensation in work day. But payroll. I don't have. So I will take help from ADP. I will send my organization management, personal administration, compensation data, 
to the adp so that they will process my payroll system okay if suppose if the vendor wants to run the payroll in work day can we able to do that no way man. vendor cannot run the payroll in work day cannot run the payroll in work day because that's why we have an agreement with the vendors they are they are supposed to uh, serve as a payroll processors for us if you are going with excel okay so bsi will will be in house payroll only right for your bsi integration uh-huh. maybe no 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 as if you think about as a p perspective bsi is in house but only we are sending tax data to process correct ma'am for your sir from yes yeah on top of that they are also vendors into the payroll right? yeah they are also the vendor yes. and that perspective i am saying that too. yeah maybe i have given the wrong example sorry for that to confuse okay now before move on to that can you tell me so since we are talking about payroll what are all data we, not, we need in order to process the payroll what is the dependency on the data modules etc yes sir okay no. yeah so we need worker data just listing of for our since this first session personal data because it has dependency age factors etc dependent details deductions tax process we need compensation benefits time tracking all the data is required by the payroll system okay all the data is required payroll system now let me make it or uh, let's narrow down little on this what is the mandatory data is required in order to process the payroll in work day we need personal data and time tracking or absence excellent we need worker data first personal data compensation data yes one of the advantage in uh, sap ma'am compensation though you have not implemented you have a t fat and table i hope i remember correctly i think t fat and table you can just incorporate all the amounts and then you create wage types you run the payroll okay but in work day it is not the case you must mandatory have to implement compensation mandatory because from here only it serves as wage types it serves as wage types uh and send the data to the payroll system okay so what are countries you have in house payroll work day we have us payroll we have uk payroll and and canada all these four countries you can run the payroll within one day itself no dependency on any other tools now one of the advantage if you learn us payroll advantage in work day you are able to implement payroll for all the four, all the remaining three countries it might be a little surprise but that's is true why because the task setup remains same now if you divide the payroll into two types gross pay net pay gross pay is quite common for all four countries there is no difference net pay only the taxation part is different the remaining all are same the remaining all are same there is no difference or change okay now what we are going to learn here is us payroll what we are going to learn in us payroll is the first one payroll basic framework any question ma'am before we are moving to discuss the definitions and examples of payroll basic framework 
Yeah, uh, what I understood is uh, we can able to do without any extra vendor's help. We can able to configure the four payrolls that you, country payrolls that you have mentioned in the screen. Correct. And if we want to configure any other uh, countries, means we need to take the help of the third party system, which is the external payroll. Excellent. True. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what I understood. <clears throat> yeah, yes. that's true. Now let's start our overview of first chapter. Okay. The first chapter is 